Welcome to jazzhem.com. Jazzhem.com is an online store that buys, sells, trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so our customers can easily choose the best watch for themselves in the comfort of their own home. We have the lowest prices anywhere online. And if you to know the price of the watch, simply click on the links in the description below. We we'll greatly appreciate it if you buy a watch from jazzhem.com once in a while. Today we'll be re reviewing the Hublot Spirit of Big Bang Moon Phase King Gold White Pave Watch. Uh, this is the model number 647.oe.2080.rw.1604. Of course, we'll have the link to the watch in the description below as that's quite the long model number. We'll be going over the dial, bezel, case, crown, strap, clasp, and we'll talk about the movement towards the end of the video. All right, so jumping right into the dial here, let me give you a little bit closer look here. You can see very, very unique style dial, skeletonized, this is a skeletonized face, so you can see that you can see the inner workings of the movement from the front. Also, you'll be able to see it from the behind as well, as it's uh, as the skeletonization goes, of course, throughout the whole watch. You have the sapphire crystal to be able to view the movement from the back, sapphire crystal in the front of the case, nice curved, nicely curved with the case itself, so it's not sort of jump, uh, jutting out from the case itself. Um, and so you can see the movement from the top view. As you can see, um, as you can see uh, very unique style dial. We have the date window off-centered at the uh, 12 o'clock and one o'clock position here. You can see the actual numbers. And uh, actually when it gets to crown functions, you'll actually be able to see that uh, you know, shift around and adjust, which is quite interesting. At the nine o'clock position, we have the seconds, uh, the elapsed time for the seconds. As you can see, it's currently ticking down at, as we speak. And at the six o'clock position, this is a moon phase watch. So that we have the additional moon phase uh, complication here at that six o'clock position. You see this little moon it actually continue to shift uh, through, uh, you know, rotate through the sub dial and then show you the sort of uh, different, uh, you know, the moon, the moon phases, whether there's waxing, where there's waning, uh, such things like that. All right. But besides that, we have index hour markers, very simple index hour markers at the very outer edge of the dial. Uh, you know, they're not too long to jut into the case, uh, jut into the center of the face as to not block, you know, the main attraction is just of this being sort of a skeletonized, a uh, skeletonized face. So uh, not obtrusive in the slightest, but it is landmarked at the 12 o'clock position with two additional indices making it easier to read the face of the watch. Of course, the hands as well. Um, the hands are skeletonized towards the center to not block off the uh, block off small sections such as the moon phase and the date window. You can see, be able to see it through that little skeletonization. And all the hour markers and the hour and minute hand along with the second hand are all luminous filled as well. So this watch does glow in the dark for up to eight hours with, um, with a glow in the dark feature. And I'll go ahead and show you how that looks right now so i gotta shut off my light box here and there we are it might the luminosity of this watch is actually a green luminosity i know it looks a little bit blue on my camera unfortunately but it is a green luminosity and you can see very easy to read this watch at night so you have no trouble taking this watch out um, you know out and about throughout the day and then eventually to the night you'll be able to read the time uh you know very easily all right, moving on to the bezel now. As you can see, we have beautiful, uh, a beautiful diamond, uh, diamond set bezel. I believe the bezel itself, not including all the other diamonds, the bezel itself is set with 48, um, 48 diamonds, about uh, just over half a carat weight. I believe the, uh, I believe the manufacturer website says it's about 0.6 carat weight in total for the just the bezel diamonds. And then it's also shaped as well with six H-shaped screws. These are titanium screws. So you see one, two, three, four, five, and six. So one at the 12, one at the six, and then two on each side. And that titanium screw, nice, you know, has that nice contrast that matches with the, you know, the face of the watch, and then uh, sort of breaks the bezel, the bezel into a nice patterning of diamonds, sets of diamonds. You can see the sort of L shape of the diamonds, and then it goes into a vertical and more of an L shape again, instead of just you know, continuing, continuing that one, that straight up pave um, dial, you need that a little bit of contrast from the breaking of the screws um, to sort of make it look much nicer overall than just, you know, keeping it completely pave out. So a very nice feature there. Of course, on the sides of the, on the sides of the bezel, we have this, uh, 
uh, you know, additional screwings to hold the case together. You can see this little sort of matte white coloration that helps, you know, contrast against the grays of the face of the watch, the shine of the shine, overall shine of the king gold as Hublot calls it, which is their version of a rose, uh, a rose gold. I believe they do something similar to Rolex where they add an additional platinum mixture to sort of make that rose gold coloration a little bit warmer in terms of tone. So it's not just a, a saturated red. It's just nice wonderful pinkish color nicely high polished around the edge of the bezel as you can see and all the diamonds uh, censored in um, all the diamonds set into it as well but then you have the nice contrast of the, just the matte white to sort of balance the overall you know coloration of the face of the watch all right moving on to the case now the case size uh this is, case is actually a 42 millimeter case so from my index finger to my thumb here that's 42 millimeters in diameter uh, from the side profile view of the case is actually quite a thick. Uh, it's quite a thick watch, uh, and uh, it's quite a thick watch in general. I, uh, I want to say it's kind of similar to sort of you know like a Rolex Deep Sea, probably around like 14 and a half millimeters. Um, but I could be I could be wrong. It does seem it's a little bit thicker. But even then, even with these additional complications of having the seconds on its own sub dial, the date wheel, and even on the moon phase, the sort of casing itself is so you know still not too it's still not that large and you know i'll actually try this watch on later in the video so you can see how high it sits off the wrist but it should still fit in under those suit cuffs and dress cuffs very nicely but even then it's very be very beautifully done with the matte white uh sort of matte white conjoining with the matte white uh you know bracelet the king gold sort of sandwiching it in between giving it a nice contrast i know i love to use that word contrast because it just really it is what it is what it is that contrast really helps you know uh, with the overall the overall feel and flow of the watch because it's just used very nicely throughout the watch so i'm showing you the crown side you can see the hublot uh, the hublot logo on the crown itself in that matte white then it's surrounded by that beautiful king gold once again sandwiched down the center of the case with that uh that king gold and here's the other side once more this is the nine o'clock side and of course, for this for this specific version of this uh, of this Hublot watch, we have the Pavage version. Uh, I know, surprise, surprise, as you know, the bezel is already diamonded out. There's actually a different version where this bottom pat, this sort of bottom section of the lug, and the top section of the lug are just in that king gold. But this version is the more luxurious version where the Pave out, uh, basically adding diamond, these small diamonds in rolls on the top and bottom of the lugs. The other, like I said, there is a, a, a lesser version where it's just it's just a king gold for the top and bottom, but only keeping the diamonds on the bezel itself. So, two only really two different choices for you. It's just if you like more diamonds or not. Moving on to the crown now. The, so the crown is a screw down crown. This watch does have a water resistance of 100 meters or 330 feet. It's it's a screw down crown. So we're going to unwind it counterclockwise as shown. All right, so in the standard position is where you can wind the watch about 15 to 20 winds clockwise is all you need to get the watch started once more from a dead stop. And then changing the crown to the next position, you can adjust the date and you can see a very cool feature just to be able to see the, you know, the actual function of the date changing itself. You can see as I tick down two revolutions of clockwise turns to change the day, of course, for a 24 hour period, you can see right now at the 19, you'll see both of just the two comes down, the zero comes down very cool to look at all right pulling the crown out to the final position will allow you to adjust the hands by directionally as shown and you can set it i'm going to set it back to the 10 and 2 but you can set you know the time down to the exact seconds as you see right now on my second sub dial it's actually stopped completely as that stops the hacking movement pressing the crown back in you can see it's already started up once more and we're going to go ahead and screw the crown back tight against the case once again, keep your crown always tight and against the case, no matter what watch brand you buy, or what watch brand you use, you want to keep the water resistant, your watch water resistant as possible. Once again, for this specific Hulu, 100 meters or 330 feet. Moving on to the strap, very beautiful uh, white, it's, it's a white rubber strap. As you can see, nice sort of lining and lining of the center, giving it a, giving it a nice pleasing shape to look at as it tapers down from the you know sides of the, the sides of the case downwards into this uh you know just the sort of same uh same length throughout so i'm going to flip that over you can see beautiful tapering beautiful lining a little bit of raising of the 
of the strap itself to get a little, give it a little more depth, make it look all in proportion. And of course, here's the strap, or rather the clasp. Clasp is done in a very beautiful 18 karat king gold as well. Um, one little strange thing about it, about this part though, this part is actually made out of a stainless steel, just a colored, uh, colored stainless steel as you can see. It does look a little bit different than the actual king gold. You can see that sort of contrasting color. And that's actually because they've used, you know, obviously a more durable metal for the clasp portion. So this is stainless steel used here. I know I was a bit, I was a bit confused myself because we actually, I'm gonna show you the back. It actually says that stainless steel on the back of the class there. So yeah, the actual deployment itself, so this portion right here, this is made of king gold, and then this sort of off-colored version of that king gold is actually a stainless steel for the durability of the clasp. So interesting use of two different metals from Hubel there. All right, moving on to the movement now. So let me show you the back of this case back. So you can see very beautiful sapphire, uh, you know, sapphire uh, glass, rather sapphire crystal. So you can see the air workings in the movie. You can see the, the you know skeletonized oscillator that has the Hublot logo instead. So it's skeletonized. So you can see those various you know the balance wheel, the various jewels and such. Uh, trying to get it more in focus for you guys here, so you can see that. See. 27 different jewels, Swiss made, the Hublot, Hublot name engra engraved onto that. Very beautiful polishing of those inner components. And you can see the balance wheel in this corner here. I believe the shock absorber is a KIF shock absorber and it's actually that little tiny, little tiny red jewel there that's sitting on the balance, the balance wheel. And I believe that's the KIF shock absorber which is the industry standard shock absorber. Uh, so specifically, for the specifically for the movement, the movement is a uh, in-house made movement by Hulu. It's called a uh, HUB one seven seven zero self-winding skeleton big date moon phase movement. Has a power reserve of fifty hours, meaning you can put this watch down on a Friday evening, pick it back up on a Sunday evening, and it'll be keeping time just fine. If okay, so that's really all you need to know about the movement. Let's see. Here. Very beautiful, unique style watch. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and show you this watch on my wrist before we end off this video here. So you can see, very easy to use deployment. It's just these two little buttons on the side here and the nice high polish, you just press those and it releases. But otherwise it snaps on, nice and secure. And there, you know, and there's the watch. See, very beautiful, unique style dial. I love skeleton, skeleton dials. Um, you know, Hublot always makes a lot of different types of skeleton dials, but this one is actually pretty, um, you know, pretty unique in a sense. It also has that moon face showing as well. That moon face, I believe, is actually in a mother of pearl as well for sort of the clouded portion of it. Um, but overall, you know, very unique style watch. Nice usage of colors of just the white against that king gold. And just overall, it's a very aesthetically pleasing watch to look at. And here's a side shot of the wrist. You can see actually it does sit a little bit high on the wrist, but like I said, not too high off the wrist. And that strap, just with that tinge of rose gold from the, from the strap, or rather from the clasp, just makes it pop just so much more. But anyways, if you're interested in this watch or any of the watch for the lowest possible price, check out our website, jazzhound.com. We have the lowest prices guaranteed. And if you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys soon. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists if you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. 
If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazz time, plus the brand, model, and the details you're interested in, and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.